AMC Channel 6 Focus Program. I'm Joe Adair. I'll be your host today. And joining me is Ken Goyke, Superintendent of the Armada Fair Board. And we're going to be talking a lot today about this year's Armada Fair. And it's the annual fair and how many annual fairs can. Well, since 1872, so that means this is the 145th Armada Fair. That's a lot of them. Well, I haven't been to every one, so I know I've been to more of them than you know. Absolutely. <laughs> um, and it's an agricultural fair. There's not many of them around, is there? Yes, there are. There, to be honest with you, there's uh, actually, uh, there's 83 counties and there's actually 87 county fairs still in existence, but you got to remember, there's 1,200 festivals in the state. That's all in Michigan. In Michigan, yeah. I used oh, wow. to be vice chair of tourism, so I can tell you the numbers. <laughs> okay. Um, and we have a full full schedule. We're seven days again. Yes, we are. You know, seven days, uh, and uh, starting out Monday of the fair and uh, going all you know, which will be August 14th through August 20th. This you know on that Sunday. Okay. And the big show is opening night. Absolutely, and it's not my fault. <laughs> I'm sorry to hear that. <laughs> well, that's the reason why we led to that segue is it's uh, Brothers Osborne, and that's their, their big single that they've got going on the country music radios right now. So uh, we're really looking forward. We think that uh, a lot of people should enjoy that entertainment on Monday night. So, and what do we got going on this week? Tuesday night, we'll have the bump and run. That's the small cars that are popping in. And uh, I really like that because it gives a, a lot of the youth, it's a starting point for them to learn mechanics and working on stuff and uh, to compete and then everybody from the family can come and watch them. And then uh, Wednesday night we've also re you know, stiffened up the rules so that we can have uh, more beginners involved in the demolition derby. Everybody oh, likes the demolition easy. derby. Yeah. And, uh, and we still can have a modified class uh, so everybody can enjoy that. Thursday will be uh, figure eight. And then Friday, it's been going over really, really well for the last few years, is the rodeo. So we're really happy about the rodeo uh, on Friday uh, night. But during Friday, during the day, I, I don't want to be dismissive. We'll actually have a state championship of uh, draft horse pulling. Huh? We pay a lot of money for it, and uh, usually it's the, the best teams in the state, and sometimes from Ohio and Indiana as well because uh, it's a big premium for them to come. It's uh, their championship, so that'd be good. Saturday and Sunday it will be the you know tractor pulling and truck pulling, so that's been going on since I believe 19, uh, oh shoot, that was like 47 or something wow. like that. It's Ever been since I can remember, that's always been. Well, that's before me, so. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I can remember back then. So, um, that's our main event. So in between there, we've got everything. We've got the grow uh, music in the in the grow. We've got the uh, animals that are in the grow. Little fun events for the kids, and we've got animals. Yes, absolutely. The grow, you know, we have the you know the, there's a stage. If people haven't gone to the grow, there's a stage there, and uh, there's events going on all week in the grow. Candy scrambles, eating contests, you know, eating pies, eating pizzas very good sponsorship from our you know local local organ people here in town uh, so you know the pedal pulls for the children uh, they really enjoy that you know uh, to do that and then the animals right behind the grove you, you know we have the small stuff would be the rabbits and uh, chickens and the geese and turkeys there'll be uh, the children from 4-H and FFA will be you know putting them on, they're on display all the time, but they'll be showing them with judges to, uh, you know, teach them showmanship, as well as if they have the neat classes on raising them the proper way, so there's all, there's a yeah, lot of that. Those are the kids that really look forward to there, because they're showing off something they've worked on all year. Yes, and it goes, uh, you know, right up to the other buildings, you know, where you have, uh, we, we even have companion animals now, you know, but they don't stay on the ground. We're at the dog shows. And the old favorites that go with goats, lambs, mm -hmm. hogs, steers, you know, and uh, even the, the dairy, you know. So those, those children work really, really hard on those projects all year. And what I'm really proud to, you know, that's uh, come back in the last couple of years is FFA. Mm -hmm. Uh, not too many people know it, but the FFA is a program that is done in some of the schools 
to uh, promote you know agricultural industries for the, the children in this area for a future future farmers of America. That's exactly what it stands for. That's I'm glad you you know I hate acronyms and here I am using them. So yeah. that's uh yeah FFA Future Farmers of America and um, was really pushing hard. I guess the closest school in Macomb County that is actually running the program is Lons Cruz. And then outside of it, we have a club uh, that the kids go to KPAC School District. So that's, uh, you know, they're still more 4-H and they're still run by the same department, you know, uh, you know, at Michigan State. So they work cooperatively together. And these kids are working towards awards, right? Yes, they are. And uh, the Armada Fair has been given the highest uh, premiums in the state of Michigan for the last couple of years. The state does not help out with uh, premiums any longer. It used to be that they was part of the earnings that would come from the racetrack horse racing was would go into the Department of Ag, and that's the money that they used to give to the fairs to uh, give for premiums for the you know the different events. But uh, with the gambling houses that have gone up, uh, the revenue for the horse tracks has gone down, and that money has dried up. So there, it's there's no more money coming from the state for the events. Well, these kids are still doing it. For the love of it. Absolutely, you know, and that's uh, and it's really you know uh, encouraging to see all these children that want to go into the agriculture community because mm -hmm. there's 45,000 job openings in the next five years in ag in, in the state of Michigan. So that's one of the you know, and that is what the, the fair's mission statement is for is for the education and the agricultural and mechanics for the for our youth. Right, and we're out in the country, so we do have a lot of agriculture out here. So these kids are, are working at this level around the clock, 24 hours a day, seven days a week. You'd be um, surprised. Be <laughs> there, and you know, the, the parents get really involved with it too. Yeah. So they're, they're, especially on, on the animal projects that they're selling. Um, and what I mean selling, it's uh, they raise them. You, know, you have different aspects of showmanship, and that's obviously when the, a, a child has a, a horse, there's no meat projects in the horses. Right. So, but you know, they learn, you know, yeah, different gates and leads and jumping and, and stuff like that. And it's it's a lot of work for them as well. But then with the children, they uh, if they're doing a meat project, it's all highlighted on Friday late afternoon when they have the livestock sale. Yeah. So, you know, and it really helps a lot of children with their uh, college education. That's mm -hmm. what they, you know, put the money away to help with that. Yep, and that's a good way to, to earn some of your own way. So, okay, we've talked a lot about the animals and some of the big events. Let's take a little break, and when we come back, we're going to talk about Midway, the rides, and the arts and crafts in the building. Okay. So, don't go away. We'll be right back. Channel 6 Focus Program. I'm glad you came back to join us because we, I am here today with Ken Goyke and we are talking about the events at the Army Fair for 2017. We've already touched on a lot of the, the big events, the main shows and stuff. So in this segment we're going to kind of talk about some of the, the other things that's incorporated in the fair. Um, who's, who's doing the rides this year? Well, once again we're going to have Big Rock Entertainment. Uh, Big Rock has been with us a few years, and uh, some of the people are going to say, oh, they do have some new rides. And more importantly, be rest assured, they have a great safety record going on. Um, the, these rides are inspected by the Department of Agriculture, and I actually know the inspectors that uh, do the inspections. And, you know, to highlight what happened at the Ohio State Fair, these rides will be triple checked. You know, they've always been doing a great job in Michigan, but you know, you don't never want an accident. Yeah. And rest assured, these rides are going to be double checked, triple checked again and again because you know, nobody needs that tragedy again. So they have a great you know, lineup for the little toddlers and stuff. And uh, for the locals here, people that can have an opportunity to come to the fair every day. The Mega Pass is available again, which is an outstanding program. That's always popular right in the close community. Yes, I mean that's it. I buy it for my grandkids. You know, it's a it's a pretty big hit, but you know what? It's I 
it's a grandpa, it's a grandpa or a grandparent thing for me. You know, it's like fortunately, I guess I I'm still working and I can afford it. But it's uh, they, the grandkids like it because they can ride every day. Every day. Um, mixed in with the rides, we have all of the food vendors. Yes, you know, and that's one of the things. I mean, even if you're watching television today. There's a program, Carnival Eats. Yep. You know, so now you got your chance to get all that deep fried stuff to plug your veins. Oh, once you smell it, you gotta eat it. Oh, true. The I mean, but one of the things that I'm so proud of is that, you know, it's a it's another event for our community. Yes. You know, the St. Mary's Food Kitchen. You know, it's a yes. big fundraiser for them. The so, Club. Absolutely, you know. Mm -hmm. And then also for the smaller clubs to work in the refreshment tent. You know, mm -hmm. if you don't, if you can't uh, put a, a something together out in the midway, because we give priority to the communities, right. you know, stuff to give them as a fundraiser, you know, to right. take up a spot. Well, it's nice to go to one of the venues or go to St. Mary's, grab something, and then go walk around the groves and watch the entertainment in the groves, sit down and relax. It's nice and shady over there. Or you go over to the antique tractors or the chainsaw guy that goes to carving them in the lot. So there's a lot of relaxing things to do. So it's not something you don't mind spending the whole day there. No, not at all. And you know, where else can you get a roadkill? Yeah. I mean, the other day online, you know, <laughs> buck out there hawking that, yeah. that roadkill. Yeah. Very tasty. Yeah. Um, and then while you're headed in that direction, you have the merchant building and the art and craft building. Yes, I'm very proud of that too. You know, when, in my position uh, that you guys elected me to, I uh, had the opportunity to go to a lot of affairs because I was on the tourism committee and stuff. I can honestly say that there's no other fair in the state that has arts and crafts as many as what the Armada Fair has. Oh, the buildings are always packed. It's just it's nice to see that, that there's people out there that, that have that kind of craftsmanship or they have those kind of abilities to do that. Oh. Yes, and, and uh, it gives me uh, pleasure. I believe next year we're going to be uh, hosting the State Homemaker of the Year uh, Awards at the, at the fair. It's either next year or the year after. And uh, Nancy's been doing a great job in, the, in them two buildings there. And then uh, I want to be dismissive in the Merchants Building. You know, a lot of the vendors from the community and even the southern part of the county come in there to uh, put up their stuff, but uh, yeah, and uh, another thing that was really good is we get to uh, show off uh, the 1718, you know, robotics team from right here in Armada, you know, and that goes back with our mission statement, you know, for science and technology, you know, these children are, you know, they might not have the agriculture roots, but it's still part right. of mechanics, right. and that leads into the agriculture. I mean, you have, you know, tractors that have been robotic already for 20 years. I think that we may see one day down the road one of these robotic kids will build a robot combine. They're there. <laughs> They're already there and this is what is so exciting and that's why you know for us you know as you know keepers of the keys right now being on the fair board it doesn't belong to me and it doesn't belong to you it, you know it's a community event right. but you know it, but it's self-sustained. Remember it doesn't cost the community any money you know out of the taxpayers dime for, for the Army of Fair. You right. know? So we're very proud of that, and uh, we're so proud of how much money that we give away in premiums for all the different classes. It's, uh, you know, in, anywhere, each year varies a little bit, but the checks are like $2, $6, and some as high as $1,000. Right. And it, it runs up to about $90,000, believe it or not. Right, and like you said, too, it's a good fundraiser for the nonprofits. I mean, when you're walking around through the midway, you can see blind messages, you're gonna see uh, a lot of the local um, nonprofits with the little duck pull out of the water. Yes. You know, so there's something there that when, when you're at the fair, you can, you know, walk around and you're going to see a lot of things. You know, take a minute to stop at all of them because they're there for a reason. So, um, sponsors. Yes, if uh, anybody still wants to sponsor, we're always willing to take sponsors because that's what helps, uh, you know, helps the fair go on. And there's some packages available if you want. If you want to, you know, watch one of the main events and uh, sit up in the booth, you can shell it out and then uh, get your name spilled out all week. Plus, you get a banner up and stuff. And uh, we have so many different events going on to keep you occupied. Like you said earlier, the chainsaw carving guy, and you can get to watch even, you know, the companion animals with the, the dogs and stuff uh, on different. And we'll have a brochure at the fairgrounds at the information booth so that you can find out what's going on 
every day while the kids are judging all the different projects. Right. And one thing I've noticed that's kind of an evolution in the last few years is the cleanliness. The fair is a lot cleaner than it used to be. I noticed that there's, you know, there's not a lot of people that have dropped copper stuff. Someone's picking that up and cleaning that. So well, that's the, one that. of the things that we've taken great pride in is uh, doing that. And a lot of, another thing that we do that uh, a lot of people don't know is we have special days for special needs children. Mm -hmm. And then we also have uh, uh, we, handicap accessible picnic tables and things. For, correct. And uh, Make-A-Wish Foundation. Mm -hmm. We uh, have a, a, usually a family and we're part of the Make-A-Wish Foundation stuff. Uh, we've done, you know, the cancer benefits stuff. And if you have something that's not for just yourself individually, you can reach out to the fair and uh, make your plea and you know some of them dollars will stay here but we want to uh, try and uh, give back to the community and uh, for students don't forget apply for the scholarship at the right. area fair right so and we've got lots of parking I mean, the fairground itself actually has parking to the west and north with easy access gates to come in from there so it's, it's easy to get in and out of the fair so it's not such a struggle and then there's also parking throughout the town uh, the band which is I believe still is at, the, at the school so there's lots of parking lots of uh, uh, nonprofits that you can help out so be sure and do that and get down there from fairness there's something there for everybody food animals diapers rides grand bathroom yeah right you know. <laughs> that's not even talking about the bathroom but but it is brand new yes so Make sure you make a point to bring the family, bring the friends, bring the neighbors, and make a day of it. So we hope to see you at the Army of Fair this year. For Channel 6, I'm Joe Adair. And I'm Ken Goyke. Thank you, and we'll see you at the fair.